welcome, welcome. Nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Macy Studios. Here uh, in this building, we've got 50 people who work year round on preparing all aspects of the parade. It's a year long oh process. Gosh. We are wow. in the thick of it right now. What you're experiencing here is in real time parade, pre parade production. So wow. the magic that happens on the streets of New York City is built and created right here in the studio. So wow. look forward to taking you guys around. You ready? Yes, I'm sure yeah, you have I'm a lot ready. to show us. Lots to show. Yeah. Let's yes. Go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right here, we've got one of our iconic holiday elements, our singing Christmas tree. And it actually houses up to 75 of our Macy's colleagues oh um, who come from all around the country. The origin of our parade, it was created by employees and friends and family of Macy's. So this is one of those things we're really proud of, an opportunity to really celebrate our colleagues and you know, give those who uh, have, have a desire to get up there and sing, which I think I, I, think I you, hope we get you, to go up you, there. Well, it just you know, so happens we have our sheet music right in our back Yes, we're ready to audition. Yes. <laughs> you know, we watch the parade every year on TV, but I, I'm telling you, the scale of this is massive. It's huge. And and, it's incredible. And just like as a New Yorker, just yeah. thinking about the size of the streets, I, it just like it's even bigger than you expect. I yeah. Mean, how how do you get this into Manhattan? We're in Jersey now. Yes. How do you get this into Manhattan? It's a great question. So all of these elements actually collapse down to about the size of a city bus. Oh. So about nine feet by by 12 feet high. We drive it in what we call our convoy back in through the through New Jersey through the Lincoln Tunnel, oh my God. up to the Upper West Side, and then we build all of our elements on the street day before parade. Oh my so you're God. building, taking apart, rebuilding, taking apart, just constantly. Many times over. Wow. I think we've got a spot for you right yes. Oh my gosh, this is my dream. I want to be the to be star. Honest, Christmas. Oh, well, you are the star, Dennis. Way to a couple of million people along oh, New York City. Oh, yeah. thank you for coming. How, how, how do you get a job here? How do you get involved with the parade studio? Yeah. Our team is a really diverse group of, of artists builders, designers, oh my people come from a, a variety of places. Do you have one employee or one staff member, helper, so that's the OG, yes. you know, head carpenter, something like that? John Cheney, uh, one okay. of our carpenters, has been here for a couple of decades. I'll wow. let him tell you how long he's been here. Oh my gosh, but, so we meet him. But we'll, meet, we'll have an opportunity there to meet him. John can speak for days about wow. all the work that he's done and, and all the sort of hand carved, hand, hand detailed elements oh that, that go into it. So here we are. This is the rest of our studio and our balloon studio is right, right behind those walls, which oh. you'll get to in a second. Over 70,000 square feet of magic happening here oh um, every day as we prepare for parade. Speaking of parade, I unfortunately have to get to a little bit of work in preparation for the show, but uh, I'll catch up with you before you leave. Great, Great. Thank, thank you, Will. You, Will. Fantastic. Appreciate Enjoy. it. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Right. Now we're alone. <laughs> Let's go on all the floats. Yeah. Wow. You must be Eric. Yes, sir. Tell us about where we are, what you do here, and what's happening around us. You are at Foam Sculpture Department, where from the 3D models, we build everything big and larger than life. So this is all uh, styrofoam. That's right. Does the styrofoam get covered with anything, or does it just get uh, painted? It does. It gets covered with a two-part polyurethane foam, but first we sculpt it, shape it, and smooth it out. Oh my gosh. So what does that foam do? Does it just harden it? Or? It's, a, it's a plastic, it hardens it, it makes it weatherproof, and oh. then on that surface we can paint it and add glitter and any other effects that we want. And wow. Is there a reason you use styrofoam? Is it like the weight? Is it just because it's easy to carve? Or? All of it. Yeah, wow. it's the weight. It's easy to carve. We can go really big, which as you know, we've made really big things. We also recycle it when we're finished. So yeah, that's awesome. a good material. Everything that you see on the parade route, it's hand touch, hand painted, hand carved. Everything is made by hand on some level, whether it's the steel that's cut and welded by hand or the wood or the foam. Absolutely. Wow. I mean, I look and we're surrounded by artists who are carving things out right now. It, you would never think that this started off as styrofoam. Right, it allows you to customize everything personally. So, you know, from a 2D image, there's so many small details and minutiae in the artwork itself that's difficult to really get into until you scale it up and really have an artist analyze it yes. and make the appropriate changes. Wow. So what, what kind of hats do you wear here? What do you do? All of it? I wear some of all the hats. So wow. Oh, okay. Oh okay. So the, the foam doesn't stand alone. It needs an armature. It needs a supporting structure. And sometimes it's wood. It's usually steel. So oftentimes I'll be designing or making that myself or some of our other team will work on that. But everybody has to kind of at least know 
every part of that process because it's, right. it's all shared. Wow. wow, so you're saying something like this sculpture behind us over here has a frame inside of it? Not yet, it will though. Oh, it okay. will? Sometimes we build the frame first, sometimes we build the frame after, but it depends on workflow, timing, and everything else. So in this case, this is only foam, and I'll probably have to weld the armature, cut this guy apart, and put it back together around it. What is the energy like leading up to the day of the parade? Ooh. Are you guys painting little details the moment before? We're busy. Or is everything all set? No, we are busy, busy till it's the very last minute. Wow. So, absolutely. Okay, and let me ask you, <laughs> the day after the parade, are you already starting to plan for the next parade? Or We're do you guys like- sleeping a... the day okay, after. Okay, oh, okay, you get a day off, that's good. That's right, so, but yes, to answer your question, we definitely start planning immediately. We start planning before. Oh. So some of the initial plans for next year have already begun this year. Wow. I see, what do we have here? This is what it's gonna look like in the end. That's right, so as we mentioned before, sometimes it's in clay, sometimes it's digitally rendered and then printed in 3D. So in this case, we made the model in 3D and then we 3D printed it. So this gives me a good representation of what it's going to be. And then I, from here I get the drawing so I know what dimensions I'm actually looking at and then I start the scale process. And how long have you been here, Eric, working? I've been here for 16 years. Wow. Whoa. And how yeah. did you get involved? Well, uh, I've done sculpture, I've done eye sculpture, all kinds of things like that. So this is a good opportunity to do large sculpture, a different kind yes. of work. Um, on top of that, there's design and there's welding and there's other things you can expand to. So it's really been a nice opportunity to, oh my God. to build big. That's incredible. incredible. It's amazing. Awesome. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you so you. much, Eric. We appreciate you. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh my gosh. Gosh. It's massive. Hello. 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 How's it going? Good nice to see, to see you. you. Nice to see you. What's happening in this room? Oh. You're in the balloon studio. <laughs> this is our giant space that's large enough to fit multiple balloons like the minion that you're seeing right oh here. Oh my gosh. Wow. wow. So how does the process of a balloon start? It starts with a sketch. A model is developed from that sketch. Once we're happy with the proportions and all of the shapes and everything that go into making a character an inflatable, we will start to pattern it. We'll take pieces of the balloon and actually cut them up digitally, flatten those pieces out. Then they're sent to an automated cutting table. And that table will cut massive pieces of fabric out, which then get melted together. Oh my gosh. Melted together? Melted, yeah. We're actually not using a sewing machine. We're not gluing it. We'll do some glue here and there, but mm -hmm. imagine sewing this stuff together. You'd have millions of holes all over the balloon. Right. So we're actually melting the fabric together with one of our very special machines that we've got here at the studio, and that creates an airtight bond. What, what is the balloon made out of? What is this material? That's a nylon base fabric. It's got a urethane coating on the inside that makes it totally air and helium proof. Wow. Ooh. So what are they doing right now, today? Today our team is painting this balloon. So this was built several weeks ago and they've been rolling paint on to get it up to the point that you're seeing right oh my now. Gosh. So are you saying this balloon was all one color? It was, yeah. It was a raw fabric, almost like a white color, off-white. That boggles my mind because you never think of humans painting the balloons. Yes. They're all hand-painted, yeah. I was going to say, I almost, I guess, thought in my mind that, you know, you just get the color fabric that, that matches you the color. Yeah. Yes. And think about buying a very specific color. Minion yellow is different than maybe SpongeBob yellow, right? right? Mm -hmm. so to get a very True. specific color, you'd have to order a ton of fabric, right? And we don't have any need for that much fabric. So we found that it's actually better to just roll the paint on ourselves. We can color match and get it exactly the way we, we need it to look. It looks flawless already. And I can tell you're not finished yet. I did see that you were doing some like test treatments almost for his uh, overalls. For the denim, yeah. Yeah. And because the balloons are so big, you almost lose sight of the amount of detail in them, but when you really see it, I mean, that's impeccable. There's a ton of detail, and it's all hand-painted here in the studio. Wow. Oh my God. Now, how many people would it take to hold something like the Minion here? There will be about 50 handlers on the balloon. We always overbook, so we'll have a lot Smart. of people walking <laughs> underneath, but okay. about 50 or so lines on the balloon. Oh my gosh. Right, yeah. Have you ever marched in the parade? I have not in the parade. I'm okay. always busy. I'm in a golf cart zipping up and down the parade route, making sure you know everything looks good. You must have an attachment to all of these balloons just because you work on them. Are you so nervous the day of? Just There's definitely a certain amount of nerves. We've got a really good team. So, you know, I get to sleep at night knowing that we've got a team that really knows what they're doing. And it's a tradition for all of us to sit down and watch the parade, but is there a tradition that you all do um, that maybe the audience wouldn't know about that you can share with us? Uh, actually, that's a really good question. So usually the day after Thanksgiving, we all get together as a studio family. So all of the 
crew members who work here will get together and do sort of like a makeup Thanksgiving. Because we're all busy, we're away from our families, We'll usually get home later that evening. So the next day we all get together and have a nice Thanksgiving lunch. Oh, that's so I special. Love that. I love that. Can we see a little more? Yeah, let's go awesome. check it out. Ready? Let's go. That's so sweet. So how long does a balloon like take from start to finish? Several months. The entire process may take four, five, even six months from start to finish. Wow. There's a lot of repeat balloons in the parade and then new balloons year after year. Uh, but now what happens with all the old balloons? Do they come here? You do repair and renovation, go back. How does that all work? Yeah, and that's a great question. People always ask us, is this a full-time job? When I tell them what I do, they say, is this a full-time job? We're busy year round. Wow. All of our balloons that were in last year's parade that are gonna be in next year's parade have to come out for a quality control test. We'll get everything out, we'll inflate it, we'll make sure that it's holding air. We don't use helium here in the balloon studio, just regular air. We might do paint touch-ups, we'll definitely clean them everything that we need to do to make sure that they're in perfect shape for next year's parade. I don't think you really understand the scale of these balloons until you're they're next to one. There. Yes. This is incredible. Now, we all have our favorite balloons. Do you have a favorite balloon? Oh. Uh, okay, I, you know, they're all special to us, of right? Course. So we love all of them. Uh, I lean towards SpongeBob. I'm a SpongeBob yes. fan, so oh my gosh. you know, gotta give it up to SpongeBob. I get that though. You're like the parent. You can't pick one favorite. Well, you can't, right? No, because you don't want to tell them, yeah, you know? Right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Well, this Incredible. is so awesome. Thank you so Thank much. My you. pleasure. Thanks for coming in. Must be Kimberly. Oh my goodness. Hello. We are wow. here in the costume shop. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do in your role here? It is a really cool job. I'm really lucky. We have 4,000 people in costumes on Thanksgiving morning. Oh my god. They have to get dressed in a two hour span of time. So it's got to go like clockwork. Wow. That's amazing because, you know, when you think of the parade, you think of the floats, the balloons, but the costumes are really what ties everything together. It really does. It really brings life to the float. Otherwise, it's a it's a moving still life. Right. You know, it's a beautiful piece, of course. Yes. But when you put people and children on it and celebrities, that really brings it to life, brings all the energy. Yes. So do you create these costumes or you, do you have people who are sketching things, have ideas? Yes. We Boy, do we have ideas. So we have um, illustrators who illustrate these costumes costumes for us, knowing that we're going to have a certain float that looks a certain way, that wants to tell a certain story. It's like a little Broadway show going down the street. It's like a little moving proscenium, right? So the costumes have to tell the story that the float is telling. It has to reiterate that, right? The day after Thanksgiving, is it just like the biggest pile of laundry ever seen? I have pictures if you want to see them. Oh yes. my God. Yes, it's a yes. mountain. It's literally a wall of whites and colors and darks and, and it gradually goes out to our cleaning company and gradually comes back wow. and it all ends up looking like this again. And wow. I'm assuming the team just is asleep for the rest of the year. From like, <laughs> yes, you know, like after that, they just need to rest because they go into hibernation. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> well, we want to see more. Yeah. Okay. Can well, we? Can this we? Way. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So we have about 300 kids in costumes in the parade. Oh my wow. god. We have 500 clowns. All of them get clown confetti. Oh. So we get about 1,200 pounds of confetti. Oh my god. So the clowns can throw that. We have about 300 float escorts. 75 banner carriers, 2,000 balloon handlers. It's amazing. Wow. When these people come on parade morning, they are so excited. Oh, I bet. The energy in the room is really electric. Yeah. But here I have something for you to put on. Oh my God. And this is going to be your Christmas card. Yes. You can send this to oh, yeah, yes. It is. Quite comfortable, actually. Did my job. Yes, you did. Yes. 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 Oh my God. God. Here we are. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, Hello. yes. Give me some model oh, runway her. stuff. Oh, Give me the oh. face. Give me the face. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> you never look better. Thank you. I could say the same to you. <laughs> Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Sure. Kimberly, You're welcome. Magical. All right, I'm gonna put it all away because I gotta go now. Actually, I have to go across the river and go see some costumes. Uh, oh my god! Never stop. <laughs> never, yeah. Hi, John. Hi. Hi, John. How's it happening? How's it going? Wow. We heard a lot about you. Oh well, I hope they're all good stories. I've been around here a long time. Oh a lot my of god. stories. How yep. long have you been here? About. 
Oh, 46 parades. This oh, is gonna my, be 47. That's yeah. Amazing. God bless you. Thank that's you. That's incredible. <laughs> yep, still strong. <laughs> yes. When you, when you find something you like to do, why not just right. continue to do it? Like building something every yeah, day. Yeah, that's awesome. Something new to figure out, and, and it's a challenge, and it's a leap of faith. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And what are you building here? Uh, this is gonna be a lighthouse. That's the bottom section, and then there'll be two other sections that go on top of it. And you gotta really put the time in so when it comes together, you can bolt it just like that. Because if you lose 15 or 20 minutes because something goes together not easily, over 40 floats, I mean, you can kill eight or nine hours. Right, you know? right yes, yeah, and you don't have that kind of time. So you Are really you there don't. for the process of putting it together oh, before yes. the parade? Oh yeah, yeah, we go wow. over with uh, about a hundred people, we get a crane and they work the cranes in and we oh usually start with our, the float that's going down first, we get that together and then we work our way back. How did you get involved? How did you start your career here? I was so broke one year and I lived right next to um, where the parade started. Okay. That I couldn't go home for Thanksgiving. So uh -huh. I said, well, I'm not gonna sit around and mope. I said, you gotta go out there and see what's happening. So I went out on the parade route and all the floats were getting set up. You know, it was in the morning. Most of them were kind of set up. And I looked at all the floats and back then the security was like, there was no security. I was right at the starting lines. I looked at everything. I said, wow, this is like kind of fun. I'd worked on boats up in Maine. We had a pirate ship that needed new rigging, you know? I came over and we talked boats and, and kind of the, the rest was history. There was wow, no, no portfolio or anything. Oh my gosh. And now this is your little workshop here? Yeah, this is sort of my neck of the woods. Awesome. Is that your personal cart? Yeah, yeah. Sort of built it over the years. There's oh. tools, there's uh, little, little sculptures, little and pictures. Wow. And, yes. So being in the business for so long, would you say a lot has changed? Oh, a, a lot ha has changed. Back when I started, we just nailed everything together. And, and prayed. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> you know, you think of uh, so much nostalgia and history with the parade, and it, it feels like I'm standing here and I'm living in the history and in the past it's of so it true. all. It's incredible. John, we don't want to keep you from your work, but we'd love to help a little bit if we can. Well, I so happen to have a piece of sandpaper here. Oh. And we always love people who help us sand. Yes, it's this not our can... favorite job. <laughs> and I got a I got really quite a, a good place for you to stand. Okay. You can just go like that. Awesome. Yep. yep. And I helped. Yeah, and he helped. He did something. Well, thank you so much, yeah, John. Yeah, this is amazing, John. I cannot oh. wait to see this lighthouse. Oh, yes. it's going to oh really look fantastic. I oh, bet. Really. I bet. It was okay. so nice mm -hmm. meeting you. Thank nice you so much. You. Happy Happy holidays. Holidays. Oh, you're welcome. Take care. See you later. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> This has been so magical. I feel the holiday spirit all around. Yes. I, and I, I'll never look at the parade the same way again. It's just truly magical to be here. Thank you so much. I'm glad that we're able to share a little bit of what we feel on a daily basis as we gear up for parades. So uh, thank you all. Hope everyone treated you well, as I imagine they did. Of they did. Of course. Uh, and I did speak to a couple of folks. We have two slots for you on the singing Christmas tree. Oh. If it's something you're interested in, yes, 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 yes. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll start Wonderful. warming up. Oh my gosh, what a dream come true to be here. I feel so magical and festive. Yes, we had such a great time. We want to hear from you in a comment below about what your favorite part of the Macy's Parade Studio is. And if you like this video, give us a like, a thumbs up, subscribe, and we hope you have an incredible holiday season. All right, places. Places. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Hey! <laughs> Bye! Happy holidays. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, There's only one real Santa. I know.